is. It's not like some mystery. And it's also funny to see, you know, if you if you follow the auctions, you know, you'll see one particular piece comes up, and the, it goes for a ridiculous price. And you know, you look at the bid history, and it's the two knuckleheads. Yeah. Then maybe like. You know, some other would be seller out there says, Oh, I can get yep. this much money, throws their, you know, specimen of that particular toy up maybe a month later mm-hmm. and it goes for like no. just a fraction yeah. because well one of the two the guys knuckleheads has it. Yeah. So, when I was doing know. when I was doing Korean bootleg selling, I had these uh these Spider Man collectors. Um, who would right. go nuts over the Lapaldan uh, Korean bootlegs? And yeah, I got significantly less from mine than you did for yours. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Once, like the two guys who wanted them <laughs> bid the shit out of them, the market was done. You know. Well, one of my favorite stories <laughs> is I, I got uh, a carnival machine or a carnival prize, blow molded, cheap knockoff. Um, uh, there was, somebody put it on. It was up uh, in the bag, and I bid on it, and I threw like three hundred dollars at the thing, which I thought would be far and away more than enough because I normally don't pay more than 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks tops. Some guy outbid me, it ends at like $305 and I'm shocked as all hell. Seller puts up another one and I win it for $6. $6. <laughs> the guy doesn't send me a second chance offer or anything like that. And so I just, I couldn't believe it. It was the funniest thing ever. So it happens. Yeah. It's a crazy market. The market! <laughs> Tem market, I think we're supposed Tem to say. Tem market. Do you actually say Tem market? Or is it only a Tem I say Tem market. Tem market, yeah. Ted Jerk, too. Ted Jerk says Tem market. <laughs> <laughs> so, any other uh, stories about... Well, we know what you're looking for, but have, do you have any, like, great stories? Of, um, I mean, you got the $6. Yeah, yeah, cheater, that's but, neat. Um, one of my favorites, you know, when I got my Gringo C3, uh, a buddy of mine actually lent me $1,600 to, to bid on it, which I, was like the coolest thing ever. Um, I don't know that either of you guys would lend me $1,600. Nope. You gotta ask. You know, if I had it. Anybody? If I had it. But, uh, no, and, and I wouldn't have won without it, so that really made me happy, and I'm eternally grateful for that. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, I'm sure there are others, but, uh, yeah, under pressure, I'm having trouble thinking of one. We all have great toy karma stories, yeah. which is partly why we're all here hanging out, you know, it's it's because of the community, it's not because of these stupid inanimate plastic things that we all adore. Don't I mean, call them stupid. We do love them, we do adore them. okay, he didn't mean that. It's alright. But the community, I'm you know. I'm not your toys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a little weird. Um, oh my God. I do say goodnight to my toys, though, do you? Well, I have to. I sleep with them. Well, I mean, I, I sincerely... <laughs> Whoa, all right, all right. You, we, we just derailed here for a little bit. Now, I know what you mean. <laughs> this America. Yeah. Uh, or world. Now, listen up, world. You have to go... Uh, go on to Collection DX. Go to the gallery. The collections, collections gallery. Yes. And then look for my name, Sanjeev, and... You'll see why I sleep with my toys. It'll become very readily apparent, and it's not sexual. There's no sex toys in there, so at least none you're hearing about tonight. So that's. About no, I don't say goodnight to my toys. Well, when I say goodnight, I don't actually say you know goodnight. Good night, toys. toys. But I, I do. I'm like I, I, I'm hesitant to go to bed. Like, I, like especially like after I'm done Good rearranging night, things, Rodan. I just love looking at them so much, and I sometimes have trouble. You kind of just give one little look. Yeah, and it's goes. like. Damn, that looks cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of arrogance, I suppose, but uh, I like, my room's it. I like a disaster. Stuff. I don't have that. Fun. Yeah. Well, I do have is my um, my my light and motion control iron giant in there. So whenever I turn the light off, it goes off. Oh. So it's like Hogar, friend. When I turn the light off, so that's like my toy is saying good night to me nice. when I turn the light off. Fair enough. Not bad. Yeah. Cool. So, so I think at this point, maybe time to break out the big guns. You think? It might be time. Yeah. Alright, so I'll... Do you want to do one at a time? Stay tuned for part two.